political ceremonies with tremendous impact. Gay couples in San Francisco. Two lesbian and gay activists who have fought for this right for the past 51 years they've been together were the first to be married in City Hall. Because we're going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. The conservative group Campaign for California Families is calling the marriages a sham. For anyone that disagrees with what we're doing, I invite them to City Hall. I invite them to come out and meet the people that are coming together. And comedian Rosie O'Donnell joins the fray at San Francisco City Hall. Hear why she says President Bush helped lead her down the aisle. One thought ran through my mind over and over on the plane as we were flying out here, with liberty and justice for all. Seven years. Four years. Four years. Five years. Five and a half years ago. We had a ceremony five and a half years ago, but we've been coming down here for five years asking for marriage licenses, and then much to our shock on Thursday, they actually gave us one. Do you solemnly swear our confirmation is true and correct in this license? Yes, we done. We wanted to come down from the gate when we heard about it, but we had been in St. Louis all weekend visiting her parents, so we were watching on TV all weekend, wishing we were here. We were dying in St. Louis as we watched it on the news and we thought, oh my God, we're not going to be able to do this. And, you know, we've been together a long time, so this feels really good. Feels, we have a number. We're 300. We have a number. So what's, what's your number? Our number is 390. 390. Next couple. Number 390. That's me. I work for the mayor okay. of San Francisco. How long have we been together? 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. Wonderful. It's about time, huh? Yes, it is. Well, let me We're tell thrilled. you something. When you walk out of this building, you're going to be a married couple. Now, what's going to happen? Yeah, isn't that sweet? I've been crying all weekend. I'm telling you, this is, this is like rough. Um, what's going to happen is we're going to call you into the clerk's office. They're going to take this application and they're going to turn this into an actual marriage license. They're going to bring you out here. They're going to hook you up with an escort who's going to take you on over to the rotunda, and that is where you're going to get married. Okay? Yeah. Next couple. Joe, can you believe it? <laughs> These people are all waiting to uh, get into the uh, county clerk's office and uh, pay their fees, get their licenses. I'm not nervous about getting married, but nervous about not having the right document at the right moment. Anxiety right up until the last minute. We want to be married. Well, I figure since I'm not getting married, I'll uh, assist someone else getting married. I actually help serve coffee and uh, ba bagels and so forth. Outside, uh, the line uh, was uh, very, very long, and in the rain and the cold, and it's great just to be here to see everybody so happy about getting married. It's, it's phenomenal. <laughs> this is a moment of history. It's a moment of history. I think people do see this as um, the kind of the Rosa Parks moment, the, you know, lunch counter protests. I, I think they see it and it's, and you talk, compared it to Stonewall. Uh, it's fantastic. And somebody the other day compared it to the Berlin Wall coming down. It's been great. The camaraderie in line and yeah. it's been really a great day. Long and great. Yeah, it is history. I feel very happy to be a part of it. Yeah, and you know what? I've never been married before. <laughs> She's a I'm 32 years old and I've never been married. I just want to come by and visit you because I know it has been a long night. It has been a long day. You are tired. You have a lot of patience and you have really moved City Hall with your love and commitment. So first I want to congratulate you. 
on your big day. Today is your day. If you don't get to get married today, you will get married tomorrow. Don't worry about don't worry about not being able to get married. Your mayor, Gavin Newsom, myself, assessor recorder, and the entire city elected family is absolutely committed and behind you. We want to make sure we are doing it the right way. That's why we cannot just rush you through. You know, marriage license is a legal document. Yeah. It takes it, it takes it takes special computer software, a very legal form, and trained technician to do all that. Marry you and treat each one of your marriage license as a very legal document. I just want you to know that we are going to continue to marry you, process your license, and record it by the end of the day. So, as long as you could get through this door, by four, we should know what the court ruling is. I am very confident that we will win. If we don't win today, we'll win tomorrow. We will win in the end. So, keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. Yeah. 390 over here in the blue. Thank okay. you. You were born in California? No, I was born in Minnesota. Sign the back, please. We just signed our affidavit, and this is the first step. And we're going to go do the data input, and then we're going to get the license. We're get the license. Make sure all information is correct. Don't sign it until okay. I Okay, all right. Perfect. Hey, it's me. Yes, so I'm going to make sure you and make sure you to the best of Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> Kathy and Loretta here. Now you know where to go for this one. We're signing our marriage certificate for our marriage license. Well, now we go take... This is the most important one. Thank you. You're all done. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much.
We are gathered here in the presence of witnesses for the purpose of uniting in matrimony Kathy Helen Smith and Loretta M. Ryan. The contract of marriage is most solemn, and it is not to be entered into by women. Please remember that love, loyalty, and understanding are the foundations of a happy and an enduring home. No other human ties are as tender, no vows as important as what you're about to pledge. Robert, do you take James to be your spouse? I do. And do you, Lori, take Kathy to be your spouse for life? I do. I do. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of my constant faith. Of my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With the ring, I be. I be with. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you spouses for life. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Wake me up in San Francisco. Wake me up in San Francisco. Wake me up in San Francisco. We had the ceremony on Tuesday. But when we had been driving home and we were calling our friends driving home from the city, two of our friends said, oh, well, we want to give you a party, yeah. you know? So I called my friend who had the band and I said, how about February 28th? She said, great, so there it was. when I first found out that Lori and Kathy were a couple. <laughs> and I am filled with joy for you two this day. I am so happy, first of all, for you, and that you have allowed us to share your happiness. As a parent, when Kathy and Lori were together, I had this feeling of uh, my daughter's in a relationship and she's not married. And, you know, that, that's a sin in some <laughs> sense. And I carried this burden of a sinful daughter He's joking. for 15 years. He's joking. And, joking. And now... This the, is his humor. <laughs> if you're not getting it. <laughs> but now I have this sense of relief beyond... <laughs> but I also have a little bit of worry coming because... Uh, what happens if they revoke all of these licenses and then do they go back living in sin again and I have to worry one more time? Here's to the newly wedded couple. <laughs> to the happily married couple. To our moms, the happy couple. <laughs> I'm a Christian, I go to church, I have kids and a concern, you know, I'm married 16 years and she said, you know, I don't know how you feel about this and is this, you know, does this bother you? And it's like the first thing that came to my mind is that, you know, Jesus said love one another and these two love one another and I just can't see how that's bad or wrong. They're an amazing couple. They parented the three kids together, two girls in college and Emmett who's entering high school. It was all of a sudden we have another mom and you know, it was pretty cool. We liked our mom. Another one couldn't hurt. I'm, I'm really happy that my mom got married because uh, they love each other. The truth is, it's all about love. And that's what it's all about here today.
Portland, Oregon today became the latest place to test the law by becoming the scene of a controversial same-sex weddings. In New York City, protesters outside City Hall demanded that Mayor Michael Bloomberg order the city clerk to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. Seattle's mayor admits state law prohibits him from issuing same-sex marriage licenses, so instead today he signed an order allowing Seattle city workers who were married in same-sex unions in other states to get full spousal benefits. Mayor Jason West of New Paltz, New York, arrived outside of the court in his small town today to cheers from hundreds of supporters. West pleaded not guilty to 19 criminal counts in connection with the 25 same-sex marriages he conducted last week. Our nation must enact a constitutional amendment to protect marriage in America. In the current noisy debate over homosexual marriage, who is bothered to notice that homosexuals are already forming families, which is the point of marriage? This thing has nothing to do for us about making a political statement. It has nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with that. It's about we love each other. We've been in love for a long time. And we want to be married, you know? And it's really simple.